Good morning, church. Pastor Brian here with another daily word of encouragement for today, Thursday, June 2nd. A few years ago, I was speaking at a conference in Houston, and that actually happens to be the location, specifically in Clear Lake, of a NASA mission control center. A number of uh, the people that attended the church at the conference I was speaking at were actually engineers, scientists, and an astronaut. And so I was invited at the end of the conference to go to NASA Mission Control. I got to actually be in the room where they're tracking the International Space Station and got to speak with uh, uh, an astronaut on the International Space Station. It was an incredible experience. But one thing I learned while I was there is NASA simultaneously is tracking 27,000 pieces of space debris, literally space junk. Junk that's left over from uh, successful missions, from failed missions, cast off from rocket launches and other things, effectively packaging. There are 27,000 pieces of space debris that NASA's tracking since 1988 to ensure that it doesn't collide with any of the current assets of the United States government in the sky. That is what I thought of when I read Paul's words in Romans chapter 12. I'll start reading in verse 19, Romans 12, 19. Do not take revenge, my friends. My dear friends, leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, it is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. Verse 20. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him or her. If your enemy is thirsty, give them something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on their head. Here it is, verse 21. Do not be overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. Are you keeping track of other people's junk? We do this. We we keep accounts. We remember. I say I forgive you. I'll even pray for you, but I, I've still got a record. And I still keep track afraid that it's going to come back again. I want to encourage you today to stop keeping track of other people's junk. A lot of people in your life will need a hall pass. You remember when you were in elementary school or middle school, you needed a hall pass to get to the bathroom, to get to the library. People are, we're all trying to get somewhere. And there are times where we are not our best self. And someone's going to approach you today or already has this week and they weren't their best self with you. I want to encourage you to not keep track of that junk. Give them a hall pass. Let it, let them go. Let them off the hook. One of the ways I like to think about rehearsing and practicing grace in my life is I, as I interact with people, I'd like to think everybody's doing the best they can. And that's helpful for me because it helps me when I when I receive maybe someone's frustration, someone's anger. I just want to keep rehearsing in my head. Everyone's doing the best they can. And when I'm hurt, I'm not going to keep track of that junk. I'm going to give them a hall pass. I love being a part of this church. I'm so glad you're a part of this church. We'll see you this Sunday.